Hey guys! So I've been focusing on zero waste for a while now and what I have done is I've teamed up with several small businesses to create discounts and giveaways to provide to all of my viewers. So I'm super excited um, to kind of share some of my favorite products and different things that I've found along my zero waste journey and I thought what better way to do this than do a mini series on my channel so I'm going to have a five part series where I focus on different ways that you can go zero waste or make zero waste swaps in your home or in your life. So to get started I'm going to focus on my kitchen essentials are the things that I have found on my zero waste journey. <laughs> To talk about first thing in the morning I start with my French press I like to use a French press and I also because um, it used no packaging through the machine unlike a Keurig or even a coffee machine where you're using a filter and if you are using a coffee machine try to look into a um, reusable filter that you can use and same thing with a Keurig if that's what you have um, another thing that I do like about having a french press is I grind my own beans so I can buy my coffee beans in bulk and I grind them myself and portion however, however much I'd like to use and then I brew my coffee just with hot water. Um, so it's a really simple system and it makes awesome coffee, it really does, it, it totally kicks Keurig out of the water any coffee machine that I've used in the past so I would highly recommend looking into that. Um, another thing that I use while I'm making my coffee or just in general in the morning or sorry in the kitchen is a spoon rest and this is quite the southern house necessity I don't know it's in a lot of southern homes I really like using this because I don't know about you guys but what I would typically do or what you'll see in like a break room is someone will fold like a paper towel or just like put the spoon on it or like when you're cooking you'll dirty up like a paper towel to sit down your utensils or at least that's what I do. So that's where this little guy comes in handy and I keep it right next to my coffee appliances and station um, and I use it whenever I'm cooking to rest my spoons and such so you're not using paper towels or getting your countertops dirty. So this is really great. Um, I highly recommend looking into one. We got this one um, on a trip to Charleston. I'm not sure the vendor or where to get it. It's got a cute little fox on it. But look into getting a spoon holder if that's something that you find yourself doing when you're cooking. If not, then continue on with whatever it is that you're doing. So uh, the next thing that I want to talk about are silicone mats. Um, so these are really great. They don't let anything stick to them. They also um, allow you not to use like tin foil or parchment paper or whatever it is that you're lining your baking sheets with. So you don't have to use like any extra oil as well. So these are great. I mean great. They don't, I don't know, I sound like I'm in a QVC commercial, I know, but they're, they're really uh, essential for me. I've got two of them. I got them on Amazon. Um, you can see the brand down here but I'm gonna Utopia Kitchen but what I'm gonna do is link everything that I know where I got from below so you can pick up a couple of these they were really affordable and there's totally a million different brands that you can find but I I highly recommend getting silicone mats for any baking um, or cooking needs in the oven instead of lining with um, tin foil parchment paper or um, using oil when you're cooking so the next thing that I want to talk about is paper towels and this is my first giveaway. These are reusable paper towels. They're pretty freaking killer. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and undo them so I can show you how it actually works. Um, so I really enjoy these. I actually have started making my own. Um, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. But these are great they're by cloth junkies you'll find them on Etsy so you get six towels they snap together here on either side and you'll just roll them up onto a paper towel tube and you'll be able to use them either by I have a hanging one so it's underneath our cabinets but you could also put it on like a standing roll as well and you can just take it off as needed and then 
unsnap it here. I've got it backwards, sorry. I didn't roll it up very well. And then you unsnap it down here. And then you have a paper towel that you can use. So I'm actually, like I said, I'm giving away this set. It's a full six set with the snaps. And if one of you guys want to comment down below, um, let me know. But what you're gonna do is follow us on Instagram. You can follow us at Victoria's Vegan Stuff and just comment on one of our pictures that you watch the video and that you're interested in the giveaway. So comment below to let me know that you've done all those things. But it's follow us on Instagram at Victoria's Vegan Stuff and just comment on any of my posts at all just saying that you want to be entered to win the reusable roll. And I'll pick a winner for you guys on Instagram. So make sure that you're following us there. The next thing I would like to say, I guess in the same family, is going to be tea towels. So I use these for um, washing my dishes. I use them for drying my hands. What I typically do is I, um, I have on one side of my kitchen a hand drying station right by the sink. And then on the other side I have a station that I use for the towels that maybe have been out for just a little while and then I end up using them to like wipe down the counters or for whatever else I need so that I get more use out of the towels. But one of the things I like to do is to definitely keep around some really cute towels because if you're using this many of them and you're putting them on display, it's really nice to have some fun messages or some really cute ones. Um, this one's by the Green BKC. Um, they're on Etsy and they make really cute quality printed towels. Um, these are really like durable filling. And not only that, but they're pretty absorbent. Another thing that I look for when I am buying, if I'm buying like a tea towel, that I look for a like a loop because you can hang it on a lot of different hooks in your kitchen or if you want to hang it off of a like a cabinet or whatever, it makes things a lot easier. So that's really what I'm looking for. And then also by size. So if I wanted to be washing my dishes, I could just lay this out and let my dishes air dry instead of, again, using a bunch of paper towels. So a lot of reasons to invest in a couple towels for obvious reasons, um, but definitely look into um, her brand. I'm going to link it down below. I really recommend it and not to mention it's a cute little vegan message on there too. So it's really sweet. Um, but yeah, I'll be linking this below um, as well. It's really, really durable. I really like this brand. Um, and then for my other brand that I'm going to recommend is also a giveaway. I'm very excited. Um, these are not only very durable as well, and they also have what I commonly look for. They have the little loop so that you can hang it up. Um, these are made by someone who is on Etsy as well. Her shop name is um, Finely Finished Fibers. She used to be a scientist and this is her um, shop and what she does is she makes not only like um, hand sewn, um, embroidered, sorry, um, towels and such. She makes hats for people that are going through chemo as like a comfort um, gift and I think that that's really awesome. So I'm going to be giving this one away. It's really cute. It says life is a banquet, bon appetit. And it's done really nicely. You can tell there's a really good craft here. Um, really high quality, um, very absorbent. So if you wanna go check her out, I'm also gonna leave a link down below, but this one's gonna be another giveaway. So it's going to be the same thing. Um, what you're going to do is again, follow me on Instagram at Victoria's Vegan Stuff, and you can comment on any of my posts at all and just saying that you're entering to win our tea towel giveaway. Um, so make sure you do that and let me know that you've done that in the comments down below so I can be looking for you guys. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about are, um, so silicone covers. They're good for like bowls, cans, fruit, a lot of different things. This one is my favorite size. It's the can size. And the reason I like it so much is because being that I eat a plant-based diet, I eat um, homemade beans quite often, but every once in a while, you know, you gotta whop out the pre-made canned beans, but this fits on there so nicely. So that all you have to do is you can drain them out just using your hand, keep the remainder of them in the can, and then put the silicone lid over top. This is also the perfect size for, um, 
putting on like half of like an avocado or some citrus or if you're eating half of an orange and making a, or making a salad dressing you didn't use it all so many different things but the small one is my favorite size these are from Amazon you can buy them on a lot of different places so what I'll do is I'll link below where I bought them I've already like basically found the best price on all of the items that I am showing so you'll be able to get a good deal um, if you go through and see like where I bought everything from so the next thing and uh, yeah second to last thing um are all right so <laughs> my husband Jake who I talk about a lot on this channel you'll know because the last video I posted I actually do like a trash inventory which I highly recommend so he eats a lot of popsicles and that was something that I did some research on and the like plastic he likes the long skinny plastic popsicles and you cannot um, recycle those you have to throw them away they're not recyclable so I really did some research and over the past like week and I think that I found a really great alternative um, so these are popsicle molds um, the top comes off right here and you can pour in um, whatever it is you could put it in a smoothie if you want to make it into an alcohol popsicle or just some juice you can pour in whatever you want freeze it the lid stays on really secure actually he accidentally left one out with all the liquid in and it was just laying on the counter and nothing came out but they're made out of silicone they're flexible um, they are great. We ended up getting two of these in the pack and then we got two, I'll insert like a picture right here, but they lay down flat and you can just pour the juice in or smoothie in or whatever it is, put the silicone lid in and the popsicle holder as well and you put it in the freezer and then whenever they come out, they're perfectly shaped popsicles. So I'd highly recommend these. Again, we found these on Amazon. I price shopped quite a bit for this set and I think that they're really great. So I'm gonna link those below as well. So keep an eye out. And then the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is something that I basically have every single moment of every single day with me. It's my favorite thing ever. And it is an old salsa jar and a straw. I have a set of straws. Um, it came with like, 10 silicone ones, eight silicone ones or something of that nature, and then two metal straws. And I use an old salsa jar to drink my water out of, and I just carry this around the house with me everywhere. <laughs> I feel like that old man from Duck Dynasty who had that like sweet teacup, Uncle Sai, you know? That's who I am with my cup. But just remember that you can reuse your jars if you have pickle jars or like salsa jars or whatever it is. Um, you can wash them out and keep the lid and use them as storage, but I also like to use them as cups because they're really big. Um, it's like, oh, besides my head, I love it. <laughs> um, and just remember that you can invest in a couple straws and then you're not contributing to the pollution. We also just came out with a shirt that says, no straw please, it's really cute. I'll insert a picture of it in here. Um, and that's just a good way whenever you're out in a restaurant, you can say that you don't want a straw. But in your home, I would highly recommend investing in a couple of these. I'm gonna link these down below as well because they were as well from Amazon. Um, so those are my tips for you guys. I think that's everything I had to share. Make sure that you comment below if you are entering in the two giveaways that we're doing. We'll have two winners. I'm super excited. And just in general, look below to see if any of these items interest you because like I said, I am a price shopper. So I did go through basically every product that they had on Amazon and I think I found the best deals. So if you want to save yourself some time and money, just go through those. Um, by no means are they affiliate links or anything. Just want to save you guys some time and money. So thanks for watching. Like I said, this will be a five part series. So there's four more videos to come. I cannot wait to share you, share with y'all the rest of the ways that I am reducing my waste and more giveaways and discounts and such to come. So thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.